Hey everybody, it's Dr. Cody. So there are new biomarkers for biological age and longevity. So I sent my blood off to a company called True Diagnostic and I got some bad news about my telomeres. Apparently they are 10 years older than my chronological age. The best I know to combat this bad news is through exercise. So my friend and I went down to a sports lab to check another longevity marker called VO2 max that measures your body's ability to metabolize oxygen. I wanted to see if the Apple or the Garmin watches were better at tracking VO2 max versus the gold standard, as well as where I'm at with that metric and if there's anything that I can do to improve it. Welcome yeah. to Dexabit. Okay. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So these are the oxygen and the carbon dioxide takes. Apparently, according to the epigenetic studies that I did, my telomeres are crap right now. So I'm going to have to max out these other longevity markers. It's going to be important to get baseline level measurements so that I can work on improving them. And that includes the Dexafit scan and the VO2 max. So what's the mask about? <laughs> So this is actually just for calibration purposes. I thought we were going to just be breathing O2 out of the okay. tanks because nope. I was in here earlier and I was just like, oh, okay, that's what we're breathing in. Yeah. I thought, it's like yeah. scuba diving. Just, I kind of thought that too, I got to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you will be wearing this mask that is picking up on your gas exchange. So the information that we're going to get back is not only your resting metabolic rate, but also the speed of your metabolism in comparison to other men your age height weight. So you finally will know how many tacos you can eat per day. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Did you have breakfast this morning? I skipped it for you. <laughs> Only for you. I even gave up a taco bar before here, okay? Free tacos. Here, apologies for the cold ahead of time. I'll okay. have you hold that in place. Thank you. And then we're just gonna... I should have shaved. You're A-OK. -okay. I've seen it all in here. As I take it around and adjust. <laughs> oh, it's all Pushing back it's on all you. Done, yeah, totally. Oh, a lot of people are saying that the levels, the VO2 max levels on the smartwatches are higher than what they're getting on the treadmill test. So mm. we'll see how it compares. So I think the smartwatches are calculating heart rate and GPS. So they know what distance you went at what heart rate. It, it's tracking the GP. I didn't realize it even tracks that, to be honest with you. Well, that's why it doesn't work on indoor runs, at least on the Apple. Does the Garmin no, track indoor I don't, runs? I don't it has so. to be outdoors. It only, right? it only does it when it's outdoor, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, with the treadmill, we have oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. They got a lot more data points to be more accurate. That's why it's the old standard, right? Mm -hmm. Should just take one moment to kick into gear, and here we go. All right, so we'll hold this for two minutes. I'm sorry if it's late on that one, sorry, Kim. How do you say I'm old in Spanish again? Yo soy... Yo soy viejo. Yo soy viejo. Kids working hard. How much longer has he got? 10 more minutes. Is he gonna make it? He will make it. He's doing well. He's doing She's gonna push him to his max. Okay. This is Savannah's favorite part. It is. Work him. Doing okay? Woo! Here, let's move into recovery. It's okay, we've reached your VO2 max and we're also getting pretty close to 200 beats per minute as well. Um, so we have enough data and now we're just going to get your recovery heart rates. Good job, Kit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's what we want to see. Strong like bull. Strong like bull. Paid 180 bucks to get right into the ground. Oh yeah. Cool. You ready for your VO2 max test? Uh, <laughs> we'll get you one when you do your 5K. Okay, yeah, that sounds better. So these at elite athletes have these crazy VO2 maxes. Okay. I don't even know how to train for them. It's like you have to go to maximum intensity, but then zone two training is supposed to be for weight loss. Mm -hmm. okay. I got to read more of Peter, uh, Peter Tortilla's book. Is that what you call <laughs> No. Peter Tortilla? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I said Peter Atia and she thought I said Peter Tortilla one time. That's what you said. What kind of cardio do you perform? No, I do uh, six miles a couple of times a week. Okay. So actually I don't know if that's VO2 max training or more like zone two training. I would say zone two training. Yeah. VO2 max training is more so like 
high intensity interval training. Right. So let's go ahead. So maybe so because Kit's been doing uh, CrossFit, CrossFit and has helped, yeah, yeah, definitely. Those who do CrossFit um, or just high intensity interval training overall definitely have a, uh, yeah, right, uh, a one up versus just like the regular cardio goers, but uh, I have high hopes for you. <laughs> I know when I measured it recently, I was in an outdoor run and there was a serious headwind, so mm. I'm thinking it might have made my VO2 max lower than what this treadmill test will get, but we'll see. Wow. Uh, start getting a little bit fast like right there so i think there's another what there's what two more intervals after this there's three three So falling in the high 40s and even the 50s is definitely insane. I don't see it too often, but it just goes really? to show, yes. Each you don't of you, see it too often? I do not see it. <laughs> you pretty much nailed it. Yeah, always great wow. to really verify the accuracy of uh, That's what That's so we cool. Use. Yeah, so overall, each of you all are falling within superior um, aerobic fitness, which is really, really good to know. Well, yeah, great work. This was awesome, really appreciate it. So of course, it's my yeah, pleasure. You guys did awesome, you. this was fun. Yeah. Gotta go discuss our VO2 max results. <laughs> All right, Kit's got the Garmin. I've got the Apple Watch Ultra 2, and we've got our VO2 max results. And Kit, you have your Garmin results. Which is 49. So VO2 max on his Garmin after several runs, yeah. right, is 49. And the VO2 Max Sports Lab test puts you at 49.8. Which is like right there. I mean, literally, we nailed it, folks. Like Garmin's nailed it on this one. Garmin's got it. So after uh, several runs for me on the Apple Watch Ultra, the Apple Watch is telling me 44.8. And my Sports Lab test put me at 58.2. So that's a huge a little difference. Different. A little different. I mean, if you look at the VO2 max categories, that's between good, like, ah, you're doing okay for your age versus you are off the scale, superior Elite. performance. I would say, <laughs> for, I would use the word for my elitist. age group. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is weird for me because I'm not that fast of a runner. And it's not like I'm running marathons, but apparently my body can consume a good amount of oxygen. Good for longevity. The higher your VO2 max is as you age, the lower your mortality is. Because we want to be tracking this with time to make sure we're getting enough exercise to ward off aging and our cardiovascular system is performing well because don't want to die of a heart attack. I mean, that's the number one killer. It's like the leading age. cause, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I spent like 800 bucks on this thing, so the video's over. But you don't have to be like and this. And you and your Garmin can have uh, a, a pleasant day. Oh my gosh. No, look, look at him go. Give me this thing. Look at him run away. <laughs> yeah. They're on sale Black Friday. <laughs>